Not too long ago in our country, there was a phenomenon called racketeering that was very widespread. Moreover, in some circles, these thugs and extortionists enjoyed a certain authority. At that time, everyone suffered, from simple small traders to directors of large remaining factories. But the most vulnerable link was, of course, the long-haul truck drivers. Often, they became victims of robbers somewhere on the vast expanses of Russia, disappearing without a trace, along with their cargo, and there was no one to rely on except themselves and their fellow truckers. Sometimes, the truckers managed to unite and give organized resistance to the bandits, but more often than not, they had to simply pay them off, losing part of their own earnings or even ending up in a loss. Such was the story that happened to our hero, Maxim, a young man at the time who decided to start working for himself. He sold the house he inherited from his grandfather and, adding some more money, bought himself an almost new Kamaz truck. He was overjoyed at the thought that he would finally live his life to the fullest, especially since he already had some orders lined up, it seemed that he would only work and earn. But on the contrary, it turned out not to be so cloudless. For his first trip, Maxim set off to his homeland, as he had to cover a little over a thousand kilometers to deliver a shipment of alcohol. The owner of the cargo gave an advance payment and said that if everything went well, he would hire him on a permanent basis. At first, everything went smoothly. The Kamaz's engine hummed pleasantly, easily pulling nearly 10 tons of cargo behind it. Inside the cabin, it was warm and cozy, despite the temperature outside being below 20 degrees. Maxim turned onto a side road, deciding to take a shortcut that went through the forest. The road here was relatively good, and not many drivers knew about it, as he hoped. However, as it turned out later, he was very mistaken. It all started when Maxim saw, in the rearview mirror, a black jeep approaching him rapidly. The jeep caught up with him and, on a deserted road, came onto his lane, flashing its headlights and honking. Inside, all thoughts left the young man. He was well aware of the robberies that happen on the highways, and he knew they somehow identified him on this almost deserted forest road. The jeep driver blocked his way and suddenly leaned out of the window, holding a shotgun. Without hesitation, he fired a shot that shattered the mirror and left scratches on the door. Instinctively, Maxim ducked, trying to evade the attack. The steering wheel swerved, and the tires screeched as the heavy trailer threatened to go nose down and overturn the truck. Maxim tried to stabilize the nearly 10-ton vehicle, and he managed to do it to some extent. However, the Kamaz veered off the road, getting stuck in deep snow and continued to slide for a few more meters, further departing from the road until it finally stopped, buried in the snow up to its headlights. Immediately, the jeep approached, and four young guys, all with closely shaven heads and wearing black leather jackets, jumped out. The one with the shotgun tore open the Kamaz door and, grabbing Maxim by the collar, dragged him out onto the road, pointing the gun at him. What are you hauling? he asked. Alcohol, replied Maxim. Alcohol is good, that's what we like, the thugs cheered. Give us the keys to the truck, the bald one instructed his companions, opening the truck himself and tossing the keys to his friend. Unload the goods, he ordered them. The others obediently rushed to follow his orders, banging the iron locks. No, guys, please, don't do this, Maxim tried to reason with them, still holding his stomach in pain and raising his hand forward, as if defending himself from further blows. I'm just trying to make a living here, you know. But the bald one coldly replied, raising his shotgun to his chest, you're to blame yourself, wrong guy to refuse people like us. Now you have to pay. Then, casting a hostile glance at Maxim, as if contemplating whether to hit him again or have mercy, he finally put the gun back on his shoulder. All right, guys, no more, he said, and the others quickly obeyed, putting aside their crowbars and wrenches. Let him go, he's learned his lesson, the bald one decided. Suddenly, Maxim shouted, stepping back a little and watching as the bandits unloaded the boxes of vodka and loaded them into their jeep. You're not human. Maxim was close to hysterics. Before his eyes, these marauders were destroying everything, 
his dream, hopes, and future. You're good at shouting, the bald one hissed, moving towards him. You're parasites, when will you get enough? Maxim continued to shout as he backed away. The bald one swung the butt of his gun to strike the driver, but Maxim managed to evade it and pushed the thug away with all his might, sending him sprawling in the snow. His companions saw this and rushed towards Maxim, some with brass knuckles, others with knives. Maxim kept backing away, preparing to face the attackers, but he knew it would be his last fight. Then, something inexplicable happened. A force unseen came to his aid. Maxim recognized the leader of the wolves, the gray wolf that he had saved once when it was a pup, lost and nearly dead under a fallen tree in dense forest. He had nursed the wolf back to health, and it had become his loyal friend and protector ever since. Now, the majestic gray wolf led his pack to settle the score with the assailants. The wolf pack descended upon the bandits like a storm, tearing them apart and leaving them lifeless on the ground. Maxim watched in awe as the wolves showed no mercy to those who had tried to harm him. The wolf leader, now called Volkara, ripped the arm of one of the thugs, while others were quickly overcome by the wolves' relentless assault. It was a brutal scene, but Maxim could not help but feel grateful for his friend's intervention. Stop, Volkara, don't. Maxim called out to the wolf, who raised his bloodied face to look at the young man before wagging his tail in a friendly manner. The bandit lying beneath Volkara pleaded for mercy, crying and promising anything in exchange for his life. Maxim asked the wolf to stand down, and the pack obeyed. Volkara approached Maxim, and the young man greeted his loyal friend with open arms, hugging the wolf gently. The rest of the wolves observed their leader's actions, watching the human closely. Maxim whispered, Volkara, it's me, your savior. You've saved me again today. Thank you. Volkara nudged Maxim affectionately, and the young man looked into the wolf's eyes, feeling a deep connection between them. He had raised this wolf and now, Volkara was showing his gratitude by protecting him. Maxim gestured for the wolves to retreat, and they obeyed, leaving the scene of the confrontation. The bandits were left in shock, and Maxim warned them never to return. They quickly gathered what was left of their stolen goods and weapons and drove away, leaving behind the young man and his wolf companion. The rest of the journey to the delivery point went without incident. Maxim contemplated the events that had transpired, thinking about the nature of humans and wolves, pondering who among them remembered kindness and deserved the title of an honorable being. As Maxim unloaded the remaining cargo at the destination, he couldn't help but feel grateful for the bond he had formed with Volkara. The wolf had shown him the power of loyalty and how an act of kindness could have an everlasting impact. As he waved goodbye to the wolf and his pack, Maxim knew that he would forever cherish the memory of this extraordinary encounter. The dog was brought up by the cow at home since childhood, and regarded the cow as his mother. However, suddenly one day, the dog started not eating or drinking, and lay there in a daze every day. The owner looked at the dog who didn't eat or drink, and was very distressed. It was not until he did something that the dog's state changed greatly. What the hell happened? Why doesn't this dog eat or drink? If there is any kind of love in the world that is selfless, that is the mother's love for her children, and this kind of love not only appears in human beings, but also animals with the same feelings as us have such touching maternal love. Sometimes even animals of different species can have strong affection, just like the dog below and its cow mother. In a village, there is a famous dog. People in the village think it is a very special dog. They call the dog, calf dog, not only because its coat color is exactly the same as that of a cow, but also because it only makes friends with one cow in the owner's home. Hearing the rumors in the village, the dog's owner didn't care, because he knew that the dog took the cow at home as his mother. The dog was two years old, and its mother died shortly after he was born, so he was taken to his owner's house when he was very young. When the owner first got home, he planned to feed it with a bottle, but something unexpected happened. The dog stumbled to the cow who was grazing nearby. The cow was lying on the ground at that time, and the dog ran to the cow's arms and began to look for milk to drink. 
This shocked the owner's family, and the cow did not push the dog away, but let the dog suckle in its arms. It looked at the lovely cub in its arms and looked loving. Since then, the dog has been as close to the cow mother as its own mother. The dog usually stays in the cow pen. Unlike other dogs, it doesn't like to go out to play and has no friends. Moreover, it is timid and afraid of the world. It can be said that it is strange to the whole world except the cow mother. After a long time, the dog regards the cow mother as his mother, and the cow mother loves the dog very much, takes care of the dog when it grows up, and often licks and combs its hair, just like really treating it as its own child. Mother cow stays with the dog every day, and lets the dog play with it. The dog also lives directly in the cow sheet, and gets bored with mother cow every day. The owner has no choice but to let the dog and mother cow eat and live together. Time flies, just like the relationship between dogs and mother cows, the fetters between them are getting deeper and deeper. Dogs are very attached to mother cow, staying beside mother cow almost 24 hours a day, and climbing on mother cow's back to play. Mother cow will also let the dog fool around, neither fierce nor annoyed, and spoil the dog completely as her own child. Although the owner will prepare food for the dog, it still prefers to eat with the mother cow in the cow sheep. Anyone who looks at this picture will think that it is a happy family of three, and coincidentally, their coat colors are also very similar, so they are destined to be a family. But the owner's economic conditions are really not very good, and the mother cow is too old to do a lot of work, so he plans to sell the mother cow reluctantly. Finally, one day, the owner waited for the opportunity to sell the mother cow, and a man bid very high, which made the owner very excited. They quickly reached a deal. After selling the mother cow, the owner counted the money in his hand, and even walked home more and more briskly. At home, the owner saw the dog looking in all directions in the cow sheet, as if looking for something. The dog has never left the mother cow, and this scene makes it a little panic. It looked at the owner and wanted to ask where the mother cow went, but the owner turned his head guiltily. The dog's mood suddenly lost control, and tears in his eyes quickly poured out. He called mother cow one after another, but mother cow had been led far by the buyer. The owner tried to call the dog, but the dog didn't take care of him. He ran from the house to the outside, but he couldn't see the mother cow, and his expression became more and more lonely. Without the cow mother's cow sheet, the dog didn't have the mind to stay here. He stood helplessly on the threshold of the cow sheet and looked blankly at the direction in which the cow mother left. Just when the owner thought that the dog would be better after a while, suddenly, the dog seemed to understand something and ran out of the house. Dogs who never go out suddenly run out like crazy, which requires great courage for dogs. For the first time in their life, this is the first time that they have the courage to go to the world outside the cow sheep. Unexpectedly, the dog actually followed the taste of mother cow and wanted to find it, but it cried and looked for it for a long time, but it couldn't find it. Finally, the dog came home dejectedly, and its tears filled his whole eyes. After this day, the dog began to refuse to eat. No matter how its owner tried, he couldn't eat. It just lay prone in the cow sheet all day, staring at the door, as if expecting the mother cow to appear at the door. It stared like this, and did not dare to blink, for fear of missing the figure of mother cow. The owner was worried that the dog would starve to death. In order to make the dog get better quickly, he wanted the dog to make new friends, so he invited the local dog trainer and finally found out the dog's mind. The dog trainer pointed out that the dog goes to the cow sheet every day, which shows that he is thinking about the smell of the mother cow. It is best to bring the mother cow back to reunite with the dog, and there should be no better way. Now the dog is completely depressed, and it doesn't even eat food. After a few days, it is still unhappy, so sad that it can't even swallow food. Now the owner sadly realized that he couldn't go on like this. Out of the idea that he didn't want to see the dog continue to be so sad, the owner made a bold decision. On this day, the dog was still lying in the cow sheet with the smell of mother cow. Suddenly, a familiar figure appeared at the door, 
and the owner came back with its mother cow. It turned out that the owner saw that the dog was really pitiful, so he bought the mother cow back. The owner said, this cow is the only relative of the dog. If I sell the cow, the dog is too poor. The dog looked at its mother cow and was very excited. It looked at its owner with attachment and gratitude, and then couldn't wait to play with the mother cow. Finally, the dog recovered its former vitality, and the owner looked at the reunited dog and cow and showed a happy smile. The kindness of their owners makes them, mother and son, reunite, but the psychological problems of dogs become more and more prominent. Dogs have obvious symptoms of autism, and if it continue like this, it will completely lose its canine characteristics. After the story of dog and cow mother was known by more people, a pet doctor said that he was willing to help. Now dogs not only have not lost their mothers, but also have many dog friends and are closer to people. Although the process is a bit tortuous, fortunately, the ending is good. Just like fairy tales, the dog and mother cow live happily on the farm from now on. Compared with human feelings, animals can also show pure and moving emotions. This warm love can not only save other animals, but also cross species and infect good human beings. Animals still know how to be grateful and love each other, so should we be more grateful and warm to our families and society?